rise it off some eyeshadow. And I'm applying it, I'm gonna applying it. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a get ready with me video for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So I'm gonna be playing with this palette. This is the Zulu by Juvia's Place. So I wanted to read a little bit about this palette to you. It says, art is life. The ambiance of the Zulu eyeshadow palette takes on a new character. It exemplifies the rich arts of the Nimbeli people. Nindabeli. Nindabeli people. That's my best guess of South Africa. Embodied with colorful symmetry and precision, a limitless expression of self through eccentric hues, earth tones, and exotic metallic shades. So this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, I love the packaging on this one because it's like a light lavender with like pink writing and just all the colors used are just beautiful. Really, really pretty palette, really fun palette. So yeah, just gonna be playing with it today. I wanna show it to you in action. I'll show you some swatches at the end, but anyway, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be playing with today. And this is the look we're gonna be creating, so let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna start by applying some of my It Cosmetics CC Cream. Right now I'm using it in light. I love to use this any time of year, but especially in the summertime because it's like skincare plus SPF plus the coverage. So I typically don't apply any skincare under it, I just apply this. So I love bringing it on vacation. It's just awesome. I just love it. And I feel like I'm protecting my skin because of that high SPF. And I'm using a Sedona Lace 480. I used to apply this with my fingers and still, I, I sometimes still do, but lately I've just been using a brush for some reason. Now I'm gonna apply some of my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I like to do this before my brows to kind of let it set while I'm doing my brows. Then for my brows, I'm going to use my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde. And I've been trying to use this up lately. This is the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil. This is in Blonde. Um, I like it, but I like the NYX one better. And then I'm just using a brow brush from Sephora. I don't think this one's still around anymore. Now we're about to move on to the fun part with the eyeshadow palette, but I really want to make it just a little bit more wearable. So I'm going to get some of my bronzer. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And I'm just going to apply that into my crease and transition area. I just feel like this is going to really help make those other colors just a little bit more wearable and not quite so bright. I mean, you could totally go for really, really bright, but... I've kind of gotten to the point where I like, I like colorful, but I like it like mixed in with neutrals. I really don't ever just go like full on color, no neutrals mixed in. Now I'm gonna take my Zulu palette by Juvia's and I'm gonna get some of this turquoise color right here. I'm gonna give, do kind of like a mermaidy, turquoisey. there's Chester hair on my brush. How does that even happen? How does that happen, Chester, wherever you are? So I'm gonna do kind of like a, mermaidy sort of a look to be honest i don't know what i'm gonna do we're just playing today we're just gonna see what comes out of this eye look and i'm just kind of applying this on my lip that is a beautiful vibrant color Ooh, that's pretty i like that i'm gonna get this kind of kelly green color on a small crease brush and i'm gonna apply that into my outer corner and I'm gonna blend this over. So this will kind of help meld those colors together in with that neutral shade and then mix it with those colorful shades. Ooh, this is kind of like a, I don't know, chocolate mint eye look or something right now, but I'm gonna change it. That is pretty though. You could totally do that brown and kind of finish out that mint chocolate sort of an eye look. That would be pretty, but I'm gonna go with the purple and I'm gonna use that same brush. I just kind of wiped it off a little bit. And I'm gonna apply this into my outer corner. There's really kind of like a lot of just bright, bold colors in this palette and they're not really far off as far as like range of colors. Well, 
the colors are different, but like the depth of them. So it's not like some of them are lighter and bright and then deeper and bright. It seems like just a lot of them are just kind of bright and bold. So we'll see how this works. I think this is working to kind of deepen up that outer corner and it gives it that like kind of purpley look. That's pretty. I like it. That's fun. So now I'm going to take my blending brush and just do a little bit of blending. I'm going to go ahead and apply Wet n Wild's Brulee as my brow bone highlight just so I can kind of see like how it's looking. Basically, you know, get it all cleaned up and then I can see what I'm thinking about it. I like it. I'm going to do a little bit of blending in between these two colors. I'm using my crease brush or this little small crease brush. Just kind of like lightly going over those to try to kind of blend them a little bit. I'm going to get some of that turquoise color on my brush. I'm using a Sigma concealer brush and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Whoa! Oh my goodness! That even shocked me. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, that really intensifies it. So obviously I'm just applying a little bit more to kind of make it a little bit more intense and I'm lightly blending it into that purple. Woo! That really kicked it up a notch. Woo! Get excited about some eyeshadow. For some liner, I'm going to use my Merle Norman Soft Touch Eye Pencil, and this is in Ocean Blue, and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. And kind of with that liner, I'm going to get some of the purple color on a Beauty Junkies Pro Flat Definer Brush, and I'm going to apply that. It's kind of like it's mostly going to be purple under my eyes, but then that turquoise is just going to kind of like be peeking with it. Then for my upper lash line, I'm going to use this liner from Pure Cosmetics. This is the Double Ego Dual Ended Eyeliner in Queensland. And I'm going to get the pencil -y side. And I'm just going to smudge this right along my lash line. And just really apply just the tiniest little bit just to kind of fill in my lashes and have a little bit of turquoise there. I had to change the battery pack, so if I suddenly moved, that's why my camera died. Um, this liner is getting dried out, so it's kind of catching, which I don't like. But I have had it a while, so probably just that. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my It Cosmetics Superhero and my Pixie Lower Lash Mascara. On the concealer, I'm going to use my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Light 2 Vanilla. And I'm applying it. I'm going to apply it. Mm-hmm. That was such good English. I'm applying it with my It Cosmetics, like, two-sided brush. Love this concealer. A little bit goes a long way, though, so I kind of like to build it up a little bit. Apparently, I had some fallout because my under eyes are looking a little bit green right now. <laughs> And I hadn't noticed that, so whatever, you know, it's just makeup. It's not like brain surgery. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my nose because my nose is looking a little red. I'm going to apply some of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. Let me move this back a little bit. I know that's annoying to see my mirror there. Not showing you my Pro Longwear concealer because it's so gross looking. It's a bit embarrassing. It's just, it's well loved, is the word I would use for it. I'm gonna set that with some of my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Rose Petal, I think it's called. Rose something. My little bracelet is jiggling. Hopefully, you haven't been able to hear that the whole time. That's not good if so. I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face with my Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten in Fair. And I'm just using my blush brush from Real Techniques. I'm just doing a real light application. I took off my little cuff. It was jiggling. 
maybe too late, but that's okay. That's okay. We're just getting ready together. No biggie. Bronzer, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and my Sedona Lace FB05 brush. My Sedona Lace brush is getting so well loved, I can't even hardly see the name of it anymore. I've had this brush for a long time. And I'm just doing a little bit of contouring, adding a little bit of definition. Don't want to do a ton on the cheeks as far as like crazy color or anything because we got some crazy color on the eyes. So kind of going more like subtle and subdued on the cheeks. I'm also going to put some of this on my neck. I need my bronzer brush for that. I'm going to use my Delium Tools 992 for my neck. Super neutral blush. So I'm gonna use my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. And I'm using a Wet n Wild, whatever this angled brush is called. It's like a dollar. So this is kind of like neutrally, but then has a little bit of like pink in it. So I do really like it. I'm swiping back and forth a lot because I'm really lightly applying it. And then like I'm barely touching my face and then I'm really blending and kind of diffusing that color. I'm going to apply just a little bit of cheek highlighter just because I gotta. This is my Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Peach Glow. And I'm using my Delium Tools 787 brush for this. Just like a peachy sort of a color. I like that peachy color like with the turquoise. I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to add just a little bit of this on the inner corners of my eyes just for a little bit of a glowy pop. Then for my lips, I'm gonna go really neutral and I have the box to be able to tell you what I'm using. This is my Lipstick Queen Bare Nude Center Lipstick. So I'm just gonna try to kind of lightly apply this. And I might need a lip liner afterwards, you'll see. Yeah, I wanted to find my lips a little bit more, so I'm gonna use my Jordana's Rock and Rose Lip Liner. Okay, so I promised you some swatches. So here they are here. Just beautiful. Really bright, really um, statement sort of colors. I mean, these are fun, bright colors. So you have to like some color to like this palette, but I think it's beautiful. I think it performs well. I think it was fun to play with. If you like colorful shadows, I think you'll love this palette. So yeah, that wraps up this Get Ready With Me. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below if you've tried this palette, what you think about it, or what other goodies have you been loving playing with from your makeup collection. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!